Welcome to this short but informative video. In this video, we will review quickly the normal heart sounds. The normal sounds include first and second heart sounds, also known as S1 and S2, respectively. These are produced by the closure of heart valves. S1 is produced due to the closure of mitral and tricuspid valves, while S2 is produced by the closure of aortic and pulmonary valves. The cadence of these two sounds is loop dub. Lube is S1 and dub is S2. The first heart sound is best heard in the apical area. The intensity of S1 is increased in mitral stenosis due to the closure of the valve against elevated left atrial pressure. The loud S1 can be appreciated as long as the stenosed valves are pliable. It becomes soft when stenos valves calcify. The second heart sound is caused by the closure of the pulmonary and aortic valves at the end of ventricular systole. It is best heard at the left sternal edge. S2 is louder and is higher pitched than the S1. The sounds of the closure of aortic and pulmonary valves can be heard separately in S2. The aortic component precedes the pulmonary component and is written as A2P2. The aortic component is normally louder than the pulmonary component. The aortic component of S2 is sometimes quiet or absent in calcific aortic stenosis and reduced in aortic regurgitation. On the other hand, the aortic component is loud in systemic hypertension and the pulmonary component is increased in pulmonary hypertension and atrial septal defect. Now let's talk about the splitting of S2 in a bit of detail. As mentioned before, S2 has aortic and pulmonary components, denoted as A2 and P2, and can be heard separately normally. This physiological splitting of S2 occurs because the aortic valve closes before the pulmonary valve as left ventricular contraction slightly precedes that of the right ventricle. Physiologically, this splitting increases at end inspiration. It is because of the increased venous filling of the right ventricle during inspiration which delays pulmonary valve closure. This split disappears on expiration because the left ventricular stroke volume is increased, which delays the closure of the aortic valve. On auscultation, the cadence of S1 and split S2 during inspiration is lube D-dub. Three abnormal variations in S2 splitting can be found. These are wide splitting, fixed splitting, and reverse splitting. Let's take these one by one. What is a wide splitting of S2? Wide splitting of S2, as the name indicates, has a wider split between the A2 and P2 but with normal breathing. This occurs in conditions that further delay right ventricular emptying, such as right bundle branch block or pulmonary hypertension. What is fixed splitting? Fixed splitting of S2 is said to be present when there is no variation of S2 splitting with respiration. This is a feature of the atrial septal defect. In this condition, the right ventricular stroke volume is larger than the left, causing a wide splitting. And this splitting is fixed as well, because the septal defect equalizes the pressure between the two atria throughout the respiratory cycle. And finally, the reverse splitting. In contrast to the physiological splitting, in reverse splitting, the two components of S2 come together on inspiration and separate on expiration. This occurs in conditions where left ventricular emptying is delayed and thus the aortic valve closes after the pulmonary valve. Examples include left bundle branch block and left ventricular outflow obstruction. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. We hope you have found this video useful. If so, please share with your colleagues and if not already done so, consider subscribing to this channel. We are considering to rename this channel. Please give your valuable suggestions in the comments. We will give credit to the selected name in the next video. See you in the next video.